Paulette Epstein is here from the Michigan Science Center to talk about the big eclipse coming up on April 8th. And I have promised good weather to see this. Thank you so much, Paulette, for coming here. You're going to show us really what this is all about, what the eclipse means for people who may not quite understand how an eclipse works. Yes, exactly. So today we're going to talk a little bit about how the eclipse is happening, what is happening to these objects in mm -hmm. space, and why we see it. I love so this. today I brought in our sun, the sun moon, doesn't need and the glasses, Earth. Right? The sun does not need the glasses. <laughs> um, and so we brought in our sun, moon, and Earth. Um, and the, the, the moon orbits around the Earth just like the Earth orbits around the Sun. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, the orbit is a little bit off from the orbit of the Sun. Okay. So it's a little bit off. Most of the time, it's a, it's, sometimes it's above, sometimes it's below, but sometimes the orbits line up exactly right. And that's what's going to happen. That is what's going to happen. And when it lines up exactly right, our Earth right here, uh, uh, doesn't see the sun anymore because it gets blocked out from the moon. Right. So uh, we have that solar eclipse coming up, like you said, on April 8th, and mm -hmm. we're really excited for that solar eclipse. And we do have to be careful when we look at it. That's why we have the glasses here. So everyone needs to get them. And then I was asking, I can't even see you with yes, these on. Yeah, exactly. But the glasses, you, you need them because uh, it could be dangerous to your eyes. Exactly. So the way that our eyes work, there's actually a lens in the front of our eyes that takes all of that light and focuses it back to our retina. Okay. The retina then sends it to your brain, and that's how you see. That's okay. how you see different things. When you focus sun sunlight with something like a lens, if you've ever gone outside with a magnifying glass mm -hmm. with the sun, oh. I know I have done it before. You can catch um, things on fire. You can catch things <laughs> on fire. So you can actually burn your retina yeah. when you look at the sun. And this is happening during an eclipse as well. So even though here in the Detroit metro area, we have about 99% of the sun being covered, you still have to protect your eyes because that sunlight can still hurt your eyes. Now I know last time we had a big eclipse going on, it was hard to find these, but you you guys say you have plenty of them we at the do, Science Center. Yep. So at the Science Center, we're selling them for $2 a pair. Okay. Um, they're a great way to directly observe an eclipse. Like uh, like mm -hmm. you said, you put mm -hmm. them on. I can't see anything. Look up at the sun. Yeah. Oh, now I can. Okay, with the light. <laughs> yeah, can I can see, see the some, light. You can see some there of the lights, go. but mm -hmm. it does block out all, most of that sunlight. There's also ways, uh, there's special filters that you can get that we also sell at the mm -hmm. Science Center. This well, one this here. this is cool. I didn't know these existed. Yeah, so this one here, it actually comes with a little Velcro that you can Velcro to okay. the back of your phone here. So we're going to do that. Right. Um, and then you can take a picture of the sun, and it'll protect the camera on your phone. And you, when you're and looking you, into it. And you, exactly. So the, the thing about your camera is it works the same way our eyes do, except it's to a CCD chip. So okay. taking a picture of the sun without something like this um, can actually damage your camera. And you do have these available as well. Yes, we do All have right. those available as well. And the last way to take a uh, to take a look at a solar eclipse is by looking at it indirectly. Okay. So uh, really it's like making that shoebox thing we did yes, in school when I yes, was little. Yes, exactly. All right. So you can make a pinhole. So this okay. right here is just a, a piece of cardstock that I've poked a hole in. And the way that you do this is you have the sun behind you. Okay. And you can project an image of the sun. There we go. There's yep. Project an image you. of the sun. All Right. Um, onto the ground. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you don't look through it like this. Right. <laughs> you have the sun behind you, and you t uh, look at a picture of the ground. Another really great way of making a pinhole. The strainer. Is a strainer. I love uh, it. A spoon with a bunch of holes in it. Okay. Anything like that uh, will allow you to safely, indirectly view the sun. I love that. Now, where are some places where we can actually see it nearby? So uh, the the um, totality. Totality. Yeah, that's what we want to see. Uh, so totality is going to be happening. Um, the, uh, Michigan does have a little sliver of totality. Mm -hmm. that goes through Monroe County in okay. Michigan. Um, but we do encourage people, if you're looking for totality and the total solar eclipse, uh, to go to uh, Toledo or Ohio. That's where okay. the path of totality is. However, here in the Detroit metro area, uh, we do have 99, over 99% coverage, especially if you're closer to the riverfront. So okay. the Michigan Science Center is going to be hosting an event uh, at the Ford House. You can right. check out uh, the Ford House website uh, for tickets for that. Um, but we're going to be ho uh, we're going to have an event there where we're going to be doing all sorts of hands-on activities, making pinhole projectors, uh, viewing the eclipse all together. We'll have our telescopes out. It's going to be a really great time. So people can come to the Science Center and get to learn. Bring the kids? Come to Ford House. Ford House, come yes, Come to Ford right. House, um, and the Science Center will be there doing all sorts of really fun activities. Can we do anything leading up to the big event at the Science Center, maybe to learn this kind of thing before we do it? Yeah, absolutely. So the Michigan Science okay. Center also has, uh, we have a planetarium show where we talk about the eclipse called the Lunar Journey. Um, 
Um, we also, like I said, have these for sale in yes. the store. And these are not just good for an eclipse. They're good for any time that you look up at the, sky, uh, at the sun. Mm -hmm. So you could use these if you come by and get a pair of uh, the glasses. You could use them today if you wanted to. I'm actually going to practice today. I love uh, it. Leading up to the solar eclipse in a couple weeks. So thank you so much, Paulette. You yeah. can go to the Michigan Science Center and learn more about how to do it safely. Thank you so much. Absolutely.